Hello world, this is JWP, J Ward Primo Beats, coming to you live from my home studio. For about 20 years, I've been mixing and mastering music, rapping, songwriting, and everything else that goes along with music production, such as graphic editing, creation, photo editing, video editing. And for about 15 years, I've been using SynthEdit to make my own audio plugins in SynthEdit. Check out my website, jwpsite.com, for my social links, latest news and updates, and public offerings. My Twitch, JWP Stream, YouTube at JWPTube, and Facebook, JWP Meta. If you'd like to help support what I do, check out my Patreon, JWP Patreon. That's with two Ps. There's exclusive content there for making your own audio plugins and synth edit, my GoFundMe, JWP Fund, or my PayPal, JWPMAS at gmail.com. If you're watching this on YouTube, a like, comment, and or subscribe. Appreciate it. <clears throat> so I'll be continuing along, remixing one of my older tracks that I had to rebuild. So the last I left off, I had tuned all my drums. And I'm not sure what to do with the hi-hat. I guess I can look at the hi-hat to get my headphones on. And when it comes to hi-hats, what I'm looking for is sort of by ear and center frequency. So let's go ahead and turn on just the hi-hats. It looks like center frequency is like an A. What's the low end down here is like a G. But it's mostly about what's up here, right? So somewhere, again, A. So I do believe A is in the range. Let's hear it with everything. It sounds fine. I'm not going to do anything to it. So at this point, what's really left? I have a checklist. <clears throat> Obviously, bass and instrument balance. However, I do want to look at this list before moving forward because sometimes things have to be done, done in a certain order. Done in a certain order. Done in a certain order. Okay, so it looks like just master, clean the sob. Mm, yeah, everything looks not too bad. So just mixing, a little bit of mixing left. Oops. And you. So, in relation to mixing, let's look at span here and 4.5. Let's look at the balance here. So this looks like the kick. Let's look at the sub or the bass specifically. Okay, so it looks like unbalanced as usual. It looks like I'm getting reflections or partials as usual. Because that's not the fundamental. That's something else. It's, just, it's not moving in coordination with the track. Actually, it is, right? Because that's a B. That's a B. It's a little dirty. I don't like it. I can clean it up. And in order to do that, I do need MIDI output here. So I'm going to insert a MIDI out. Hopefully this works out because, yeah. I didn't consider this in advance. Oops, I just turned everything off here. So children. Then I'm going here. I'm gonna I'm gonna set up a MIDI EQ. And we're gonna go. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna say we. I don't know why I say we because it's like a tutorial thing when I see other people doing tutorials, and this is not a tutorial. It's a documentation. You lean MIDI EQ. There it is. All right. So port zero, channel one. And so I want to roll off here. Um, how do I link to it? What's the link here? I think I gotta open up the second one first. It might be better just to do something else. We'll get the roll off happening first. I'll get the roll off happening first. Okay. Then reset and should be good. As well, I require the Put here. I don't like how Patrick keeps his stuff open like that. 
So it looks like I'm going to have to do some burning to MIDI here. Where'd it go? Layer. As well, these are the kits. Hmm. Okay, so I'm going to have to make a merged. So let's go ahead and go clone arrangement. We're going to call this merged. I'm going to call this merged. And then in merged, I'm going to grab everything. And I'm going to go <clears throat> tools, consolidate playlist selection. I'm not sure that's what I'm looking for. I do this all the time, and suddenly now it's like, duh. It always happens. So it consolidates. Merge selected clips. Okay, so I'm in merged. I want to be in position. Usually I, I prefer like the last position. Why is there a big space there? 20. Whatever. Okay, so can I move this? Okay. Did it? Yeah, I did. Okay, so now 21, and even though I do merge, select the clip, it sticks it in position two, which is, I'm not sure why it does that. Okay, so there is the pattern. And then from here, I wanna go, right click 21, split by channel. And I'll get all the individual channels, which is great for stereoization. However, as I've said before, I don't want to do too much of that. And there's what I'm looking for here, the layer. Everything else could just go. Now, I'll grab that, head over to merge. No. Okay, it looks bad I could move these up and down. Whatever. Consolidated layer here. Um, I'm actually going to clone layer. And I'm going to call this <clears throat> base to MIDI. And then for base, let's get layer out of here. Base to MIDI. I'll push it down to the bottom pattern as if it matters. Okay. And then I want to remove all the top and notes, which is looking a little. It's not bad. Got to make sure there's none moving through an octave. It looks like it's all one octave. I was worried I was going to have to do some picking. Hunting and pecking. So now I have just the bottom. And that is being sent to MIDI. Yes. Okay. Why are all the instruments going through bass? It's just the contrabass. Just hearing it. Why does it sound like two, though? Of course, the hi hat just has to be part of it. Is it just in my head? Maybe because it's sending twice. Hmm. Yeah, because it's sending twice. It's not only has the this one, it's also sending this one. So let's mute this. Okay, I'll mute that. Clip. Because it's a chord. It's fine. It's a chord. This one's only playing one line because it's a single line, which is being sent to the MIDI here. And in fact, I'm going to pull this out of layer and just put it here so it's not playing that contra bass in the back. Look at this. Would you look at it? There it is. Okay, so that's cleaning it up. It's getting rid of all that low stuff. That's not really doing anything. Adding to... Well, it's adding some low-end rumble and some low-end, but that's not the official low-end, so to speak. 
Okay, however, I think that's too high. Usually a lot of times with the MIDI EQ, it's always an octave too high. Can you get out of the way? Then I'll jump in here and again, get out of the way. Over here and I move up to move down, right? There you go. It's still a little light. Bit better. Let's look at that and span. Rather, I'm gonna look at that and span. Still got some. I still have some partials coming through, and that's because it's not a hard slope. E, ain't it? There's an E. Okay. E at 80. It's terribly unbalanced. In the past, I've been using. Before or after the compressor? Let's go before. Before, I've been using Neutron. Wherever I can find it. Neutron's EQ, and it's, it's, and it's dynamic EQ ability. However, it could, it occurred to me that Maximus could do the same thing, right, as a de -esser here. Example, if I go, say I'm targeting that 80, so I want to go about 60 to about 100, right? And I'm targeting that low harmonic here. Now I have this. This is cutting. So instead of cutting, delete here and straighten that out. We can't see anything. Oh, instead boosting. Why can't I see anything? Is it not on? Like there should be an input here. It's like it's not running. It's running. I can see it here. On there. But it's not doing anything. Why can't I see anything here? This? This, this, this. Why? I mean, it's working. I'm supposed to be able to see. Look at how, how crazy it is. Hmm. I'm going to bring in a fresh one and figure out what's going on with the differences. It's done nothing. There's something in the master. Everything else just too low? There it is. <laughs> so I believe that's the case. It's just everything is too low be visible. There's also on the floor compression too, or over the top compression, which this can also do. Okay, so how to make this work is really the question, right? Like I see this. In. Oops. Why is it flattening it? Okay, I'm gonna get rid of this. Don't need that anymore. Like that. Hmm. 
be nice to be able to see it. I guess I can see it here. I'm still getting inconsistency here. What is that? It's tightened up a bit. I'm going to tighten it up a bit. It's so crazy. Let's drop the whole thing down here. Pull on everything downward. Because it's still too much. The idea is here to sort of come in at the same spot. So notch this down a bit. More. I'm not sure it's working the way I intended it to. Pull around here, go about 40 to about 100 again. Crank it. It's not compressing either. Push it on, we'll give it some tightening here. Hmm. It's supposed to be bumping into it, right? And it's not. Head. So that's what it's hitting. Want lower still? Okay, complete compression here. Things are still making through. Low cuts? These are off, right? Off. Solo. It's like nothing's coming through now. Yeah, I don't think it's working the way I want it to. So, eventually, maybe that's something to consider down the road. For now, it's on to. Neutron's EQ, I suppose. Um, we're gonna go plugins. <clears throat> Maybe this has to come up. Doesn't want to snap to zero here or to the grid. Looks like there's control. Kinda, but not really. I mean, there's a lot of control here, but then it goes out of control. Mm. 
it's not frequency, right? It's just levels. Okay, not sure I can undo in here. And then I'll use the sentence hold. No, wrong hold. To the right hold, it's just the opposite direction. There's. Clicking. All right, smooth again. Just another dot. So that's sort of the idea, right? Is it only the low one that's getting cut? Like I said, I can't figure it out. It's something for further consideration. Until then, make things easy here with Neutron's EQ. Then, what does Learn do again? Okay. Woo. Still learning. What I want is to just grab that bottom one. Press shelf first here. Get rid of these other ones. Not what I was looking for. Come up to about 120. Down. Dynamic. Maybe it's a boost. Come way up. Three hundred. Hello. Way down there. Are you familiar with the Gabber genre? Not even. Mm, looking at. It. Did you? Something with a steeper shelf. One of the main problems with Neutron. It doesn't have very steep shelves. Why is that? Sadly. Because I don't know every genre. Need help recreating sound on the Gabber track melody. Anyone there? Okay, so. Or at least I'm not willing to help you. I don't know what it is. And I got my own stuff going on. Okay, at this point, I think I'm just going to target it. So, yeah, try that. <laughs> EQ here, maybe you could at least listen to it and maybe give me a great part to look. Time is money, my friend. Time is money, and it's also very precious and irreplaceable. E2, E? Okay, so I'm trying to target this low guy here. come up a bit and that's what I like about PEQ is that it's got this really steep slopes tighten super tight about 10 it's this one right it's come up a little bit maybe like 12 
It's boosting other ones, now it's boosting the neighbors here. Rimp it down about 5%. Okay, kind of there, kind of there. Now it's a little backwards here. Okay. We'll bring this guy back in here. Now we got a little bit more level. Still gotta come off some more. So what's going on here? Okay, so come up, go one fifty and go plus three. Get B. I wish I could just grab letters from here. I don't know why it doesn't let you do that. Can't even move by letter. B. Low ends are actually too much. Right? Okay, so bring this down a bit. Too much. The further the, la the later harmonics are high. Right. Off. Sort of, but it's still not what I'm looking for. Okay, I'm gonna try cuts. Fifty cuts. That may be what I'm looking for. Okay, moving on to this. In fact, I'm just going to target it upright again. Hmm. 
Okay, so I shouldn't need that, right? Forgot about that noise. Okay, let's go low shelf again. Boost. Only when the threshold is crossed. No. That's only when the threshold is crossed. Eighty just by six only when the threshold is crossed. So I'm not getting that. This is gonna happen if I do it all crazy. Okay, so I'll go Q of about three. I'm gonna go 80. Which is not D2, I want E. And uh, cut when the threshold cross, so it only goes so high, right? Let's crank that. So this is what I want to be targeting here. That's 83. Cuts and threshold this cross. Boost. Let's cut, man. I want it to go too high. And how far am I away here? With it off, I am... Way down here. So I need like a six at least. Tighten this up a bit. 1.4 way. So about six. It's like it's not even doing anything. Where I want it, but it shouldn't need to be that drastic. Let's just be the same as me tailoring it like that. Like, I should be able to use a low shelf. everything that's below 150 um, boost up to a certain
And these next ones come in and they're just massive. A bit higher, perhaps. What is that weird boat? Boost, maybe. It's totally missing that bottom arm on it. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna overcrank it here in Patcher, and I'm out of time. How do I get this guy into thing two? Right, uh, this is what frequency one inputs parameters frequency two. In fact, I might have just did uh, the key of the bandwidth here. Let's go about twenty five. We're really pulling on it. So that we can cut later, boost the cut. That doesn't make sense. I should be able to know how to do this properly. All this is supposed to be doing is cut or cutting. Yeah. So that's not going to happen. Let's turn this off. This is supposed to work. But it's just constantly boosting. Like that? Maybe the other way? So that they're not breathing, right? It works though. So I was gonna have to fight with that a little more. Check out my website gwpsite.com for my social links, latest news and updates, and public offerings. My Twitch GWP stream, YouTube at GWPTube, Facebook GWP Meta. If you'd like to help support what I do, check out my Patreon, GWP Patreon. That's with two Ps. There's exclusive content there for making your own audio plugins and synthetic. My GoFundMe, GWP Fund, or my PayPal, GWPMAS at gmail.com. If you're watching this on YouTube, a like, comment, and or subscribe. Appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Until next time.